What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now this is exactly what I said to you in yesterday's video of something that I wanted to talk about and it's carrying on from the video of where I nearly died. What I was explaining to you. There was bits about that video that I left out for this video specifically. And what it's to do with is anxiety, depression and stress. And what they can all lead to what can happen if you don't get yourself out of that slump, basically. Now, obviously what happened with me, I took a big chunk of time off work. Like a big chunk of time. Because obviously I wasn't well. Me side here was in absolute agony. I wasn't getting no sleep of a night. And I just couldn't face going into work. So obviously I took a lot of time off work. Doctors signed me off. And towards the end of my time off, it became apparent that I was getting depressed and I had a, a tiny bit of anxiety at the time. And then what happened after that was I started pushing people away who were obviously there to try and help me. I kind of pushed them to the side because me being me, I like to face things myself, if that makes sense. I like to... I don't really tell people anything. Like this vlog like type of thing is the most I've probably told anyone. Because what I tend to do is I keep everything inside, keep it bottled up and then I have a big thing where I'll explode and it's just that's no good for no one. So I've had to try and control that and bring the best out of myself. Now I'm kind of lucky in a way that I've got a wife who's very very supportive. And you know at the end of the day I pushed her away for a good couple of months and you know she could have left. But she chose to stay, she'd stick around, she helped me get through it. And I think we're a much stronger couple for it now. But, that being said, you know the stress, the, the depression side of things, the anxiety. The depression was me not wanting to get out of bed of a morning. Or even like during the day. Me not wanting to get out of bed. Me not wanting to do nothing. Not even go outside. I used to spend days in bed just literally watching the TV. You know, that's a big sign of depression. I'd go and buy stupid things on Amazon. I've spent money in the past that I didn't have to get something that would make me feel good for a couple of hours. And obviously I went a bit nuts on a few things and I'm a bit, well, I did become a bit skint, shall we say. But I was doing that to get that fix, that fix of happiness, that's what I was doing it for. And then there was the anxiety side of things where obviously going outside and seeing other people was getting me anxious. The phone ringing was getting me anxious. It was just it was like, snow, like a snowball effect. Everything became on top of me and it was just too much. And then there's the stress of everything. Of when you go back to where people are asking you questions you probably don't want to answer. And I'm not that type of person that I don't tell no one, not, I mean I do tell people certain things but not everything. And it was obviously that time when I was keeping everything bottled up and then obviously I was back to work. I didn't want to be there because obviously I still wasn't feeling 100% and it just, everything kind of came to a head one day. And I literally exploded, I had a big argument with my wife, I stormed out, I got in the car. I drove off and I spent about three hours or so just on my own in the car. You know, that's not good for anyone. It's really not. And that's when like I was driving around and I went to my favourite spot that I always go to and I will take you there one day. But I used to go there all the time. I'd sit there, I'd think about things. And then I sat there and I thought about everything that had gone on. And I was like, I need to, I need to snap out of this. I went for a walk, cleared my head, I went back home, I apologised, we sorted things out and things went on from there. But it's that thing of don't do what I've done, try not to keep things bottled up. I know probably some years are probably like, well I'm going to do it anyway, but try not to keep it bottled in. If you need to talk to anyone, as I've said to you, reach out, emails in the description, all my social media handles, everything like that. If you want to reach out, reach out. There's obviously certain people that have got to a stage where it has got too much and you've done something stupid. But don't let it get that far. You know, go and talk to someone, come and talk to me, come and talk to anyone. Anything you want to talk about, we'll talk about. It doesn't have to be about the depression side of things. It can be just a, a general conversation can help you snap out of it. But 
but that's what happened with me when I got sick. Now, I know now that if I was to get sick again, touch wood, I won't. But if I was to get sick again, I know I can turn to my wife for support. I know I can turn to my mum and dad for support. I can go to friends for support. I know I can do that now. Whereas back then, I didn't know I could do that. My mind was still focused on, I can do this myself. Whereas it shouldn't be that way. There's people out there who will listen to you, yeah, who will sit down and talk with you. As I say, it doesn't have to be about what you're going through. It can just be a general conversation about anything. And people will sit there, you can talk about it. And it will take your mind away from what's going on. Now, I still suffer with a tiny bit of anxiety. I will admit that. I don't, again, I've been uncomfortable in certain social, social gatherings. I get anxiety from me, me, me phone alarm going off that one with that I've done in a couple of videos where my alarm's gone off in the video oh that noise it just my anxiety levels just build up and build up but that's what I wanted to get across to you guys today a normal vlog will return tomorrow I'm gonna head home I'm gonna go and spend some time with the family something nice for tea I'm probably gonna try and go for a run as well tonight before the rain kicks in tomorrow cleaning the car day so guys have a good day enjoy the weekend and i'll see you all first thing in the morning for another daily vlog but don't forget please talk to someone don't let it get that far there's lots of people out there who care about you you can talk to i've learned the hard way please learn from my mistakes guys thanks for everything i'll see you all tomorrow don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me subscribe for more videos to come hit the bell so that you're notified when i post a new video and I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Take it easy. Did you see yesterday, by the way, where I missed twice? I went that way. And then I went that way and then covered it with my hand so that the corner was still showing, but you could still, like, see me. Stupid. See you tomorrow, guys.